Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. This video is all about terrazzo, 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 and I keep saying chorizo, and I actually do say it in the video, and I'm really sorry, but I think I was just hungry at the time. Anyway, I did a terrazzo video a couple of months back now, and it was not very good. It was my very first attempt. I hadn't practiced before filming, and it didn't turn out great. So I've been saying since then, I'm gonna do another one just because I've kind of got the hang of it now and yeah I hope you absolutely love it I'm going to be sharing with you this amazing pot mold that I've just recently purchased from Amazon that will be linked down below they are huge and I am obsessed if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok it's pretty much all I've been doing and yeah I hope you absolutely love the video as much as I enjoyed filming it so before we start, I have got some exciting news to share with you all. And that is that I am going to be working in collaboration with Polysil UK, which is the UK's largest distributor of Jesmonite. And I honestly cannot wait. They've already sent me some serious goodies to try out, including Jesmonite Retarda, which a lot of you have actually commented on that I could use to elongate the life of the jesmonite as I'm working with it so I'm really excited to try that out and that will hopefully be coming in the next week and we'll have a go and see exactly how it plays and what it does and I'm so excited they've also sent me some other jesmonite which I'm also looking forward to using so I thought I'd share that with you all as it has actually made my week and I'm so excited to get started so I did make my own terrazzo for this video. I laid it out across on plastic sheeting in my whole surface area was coated. I didn't film the process because I have done a video on it previously and I will link that above for you now if you are interested in how to make your own terrazzo. But it really is jesmonite with pigment spread thinly across some plastic sheeting and then just crumple it up. And honestly, this is the fun part, but I would recommend crumpling it up within 20 to 25 minutes of spreading it thinly because the longer you leave it the harder it is to crunch and the mold i am using in this video to create this stunning plant pot is from amazon and this is what it looks like i am telling you now hands down this is the best pot mold i have ever used because i'm a tad bit obsessed like i have made like one two three four five seven pots <laughs> All I need to do now is sell one and then I'll feel better about my life. But this is the mould. So it comes with a plastic bracket around the outside to hold that silicon in place and the base pops out once cured. So what I'm going to do first is mix up the, the neat jesmonite. You've seen me make the chips already. I've also got chips that I've made previously. So the two colours we're going to be using in this video are these stunning natural earthy tones which i've made before didn't film it this was just myself and my nieces when we could finally all meet up they i got them doing it for me i'm not gonna lie i got them doing it for me because you know what are children for and um, they're teenagers by the way they're not little little babies um and what i did was i sieved it out so i actually got them to make quite a lot i've got three of it three pots here and then i put it through a sieve to get out the smaller pieces. If you're making your own terrazzo, you'll always end up with some dust at the bottom. Next to the dust, you'll have this size chip, and then you'll have the big chunky chips that you wanna use. I've ended up with a huge bucket full of those blues, those greys, and yeah. So they're the two colors that we're gonna use. First thing I need to do is mix up enough for the first pot, and we're gonna go with the blue. Although that is half the mixture done. Now we all know I've got around five minutes before this starts to set. We don't want that. So if you saw my first terrazzo video, I have to bow my head and laugh at that video now. I really didn't know what I was doing. It was my first try. I did not put enough chips in. This time we need to pack them in. And I mean pack them in. So it's always handy to have a lot of chips. It depends on your finished result that you require. But honestly pack them in <laughs> so here goes The 
the next thing to do is to get this poured into here and before it sets <laughs> hopefully it will pour down as much as it can then you need to shake when I say shake I mean really shake this mold we want all of those chips to go down to the bottom and no air to be trapped around the edge so take your earphones out if you've got headphones in take them out right now this is what I do I think that's okay <laughs> You don't have to go that crazy but this is setting as we speak so I'm just gonna put a little bit more on top here I feel like even though my plan was to just make half of the ingredients because I've added the terrazzo chips of course then it's giving me a lot more than I first realized it would so I'm gonna put it all in here now and then we'll just finish it off with a contrasting colour for the second pot I'm only mixing up a very small amount of liquid I think this is 80 liquid to 200 powder and this is to form a very thin rim along the top of the pot and we're going to use these tiny shards so I just want to get this into the rim of the pot. Now with this pot, what you can do, you can take the bottom out before you do anything. Just remember that that bottom's gone. Don't fill it up at this point because this is going to be squishy. But to get all of this liquid in down here without actually getting any on here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to squish the top down and pour it into the side and just move it round. There is a risk that you'll get some like pouring out, marking the sides where you don't really want it to mark, but you know, this might be an extra step that's not really needed. But again, this is all new to me, so we shall find out. Then I wanna put this back in. I wanna reinforce that bottom. Then I'm gonna shake it. Next layer going in is a little bit of jasmineite again, but it's going to be one block opaque colour before we finish off the pot with the large chunky terrazzo pieces. At this point, I'm not bothered if it touches the top or the sides. As long as it doesn't touch the outside edge, it's the outside edge I'm, I worry most about. The final layer on this will be the chunky terrazzo chips to, ma to match those tiny little ones. So I'm going to pack them in. I have made a ton of jasmineite because I just had to stop filming because my other two pot moulds arrived. Yes, I ordered another two. I'm a tad obsessed. So I'm going to chuck it all in. Just chuck it all in. Mix it well until you have got a really good amount of these chips in your jasmineite. I'm going to add another pot. See how that's looking. I'm seeing a lot of blank space so I'm going to go for it and I'm going to add the third. All done. All that work. And it's gone <laughs> so now I'm gonna give this a really big mix making sure that every single piece is coated that is gonna help to prevent air bubbles that is all chips coated we are gonna go for it we're gonna pour that in here until it's full up and then use the rest in another mold.
it is a demold time now with this mold you want to unscrew the sides which is quite straightforward it's just a little bit fiddly get your hands in there then you want to separate these and pull them off there we go and then you want to take the base out this is the part i found hardest with this mold so all i've been doing is slowly teasing it away pulling a little bit at a time and you want to go around pull pull there are holes in the bottom of this plastic black part that allowing the air to suck it out but it just takes a few seconds and then suddenly oh like that you'll find it just comes out but I did panic at first I'm not gonna lie and then I just flip it down to minimize any pressure on this pot at this stage and peel it back like this and it's revealing oh I love this part it, it's the sanding it's the sanding I dread actually I mean I wanted more of a thicker blue line here but that's not bad that's not bad and this area here is seriously sharp at this point guys so that's something to bear in mind don't just go grabbing it confidently because oh you will slice your fingers it's such a big mold it's hard to hold but when you get there you get there hopefully fingers crossed all of that banging and and whacking has got rid of all the air bubbles at the lip of the pot and we'll have a look yes perfection look at that Okay, we are moving on to sanding and this is what brings your terrazzo back to life I am using these wet dry sandpapers that I got from Amazon they will be linked down below as well as that pot mold now I usually do my sanding in the bath like off camera I did most of my sanding in the bath in a huge bucket of water um, but for video purposes I've just got this little bucket here now this kit that I got comes with an array of different grits going with a low 120 I've never used anything this low so I decided to give it a go and see how much it could take off how quickly are those chips going to come through how soon can I see them so you can just see the method I'm using here with that bucket of water you have to keep it wet at all times and in between each sand I'm just running my hand over getting rid of all that because it goes quite gloopy like sticky um, sludgy that's the only way I can describe it as it turned out 120 was not for me I did not like it at all it left dents and scratches in the surface of that pot so this is what I did you can do it your own way but if you want to grab a pen here is what I did I started at 240 grit I worked up to 320 I went to 400 and I ended on 400 you can go as high as 1000 2000 I mean that's hours of work to be honest um, but for me 240 320 400 grit was enough for me to get the results that I was happy with you again it's 
up to you, personal preference. You can go higher if you want. There's definitely the blue pot you'll see at the end. I definitely think I could have spent at least another hour on that. As, as it stands, each pot got one hour of sanding each. This is time consuming labor of love. But you can see those chips coming through now. You really can see them. And you can see where the white has almost invaded the green line. I was able to get rid of that as well and I got a nice crisp green line at the end of it and I just love the results. I don't love the sanding. <laughs> I can't even pretend I do not love the sanding but I love the results. So 240, 320, 400 is honestly all I felt I needed. Um, but yeah, you see me going back and forth. The trick is keep it wet. It has to remain wet. And then after maybe 10 seconds of sanding, wash that off, go back in, wash that off, go back in, get all of your edges, your surfaces, your rim and your base, get all of the sharp areas away and just see those terrazzo chips come to life. So here is the before of that first pot that I sanded and here is the after. You can see that green line is so much neater. Again, this had an hour of sanding. I could have quite easily done another 30 minutes on top of that to bring more chips through. This is the blue pot before and oh, these shades, I just love them. And this is the after. Again, I can see a difference, but I do feel like I could still do another 30 minutes sanding on this pot as well. But the Calm Neutrals, love them. Now, this was my biggest success. Look at this. I got it absolutely crisp. And I feel like screaming and dancing about that one. That's my favorite, hands down. And this is the fourth one. This is the before of that fourth pot that I made that was packed full. And this is the after because I did not sand it. <laughs> I'd run out of steam after three hours of sanding the others. Well, thank you so much. If you've stayed to the end, you guys are amazing. I hope you've loved this video. Honestly, I have really enjoyed it. Hands down, that middle pot is my favorite. So I did actually make a lot more in the video. I made another pot and I made a trinket tray and they didn't make the cut because <laughs> I couldn't sand them in time to actually get them in the video. So there you have it, um, it's time consuming. Am I a terrazzo girl? I love looking at it all, I have to say, especially that middle one. Oh my gosh, that to me is just stunning. I just can't say I'm all about this sand in life. I have to be honest with you guys, it's so time consuming. So maybe like a one-off pot in the future I'll enjoy doing but something like this where I've made tons at once and the daunting task of having to sand it all back. But I mean, I'm kind of glad I did like for the video as well. I absolutely love the results. I love the difference between the tiny chips up here and the bigger chunks down there. And you know, your own style will come through in your work. You don't have to put this many chips in or you can put even more because you can still see quite a lot of blank space here. But anyway, I hope you found the video helpful and I hope you've really enjoyed it as much as I have and I will see you in the next one. Bye.